As long as I had the camera out today, I'm going to do something that I've <clears throat> wanted to do for a while here. wanted to uh, do a little comparison between the Mitotoyo uh, digital micrometer and the Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh is currently selling for $9.99 at Harbor Freight. And I just checked the price on Amazon of the Mitotoyo. This particular model is currently selling for $115 and some cents. And I wish I could get that to focus in on there, but I've never had luck with this camera in that way. You can do it. No, you can. All right, finally got it. Bottom line, I purchased this Mitotoyo, um, and it's a it's a wonderful uh, device. Works really well. Extremely accurate. Uh, you saw there. It, it come when it comes on. It. it uh, remembers where it was, or it takes a new measurement. I'm not quite sure which but somehow it knows exactly where it's at and it goes right back to zeros all the time very cool works extremely well that way Pittsburgh when you move it turn it off turn it back on it always resets to zero um, not a big deal really uh, you can work around that and the accuracy no, it just lost a half a thousandth there. I could either zero it or just turn it off, turn it back on. Fairly repeatable down to a half a thousandth. I'm going to take a measurement with uh, on the outside of this bearing, old bearing I had. One point three three seven zero. One point three seven seven five. Did I say that wrong earlier? One point three seven seven five. So Half a thousandth dif difference uh, between the ten dollar uh, Harbor Freight Pittsburgh version and the hundred and fifteen dollar Mitotoyo version. Now here's another interesting thing. This thing's eleven and a half times more expensive than the Pittsburgh, and the Pittsburgh actually comes with not only one battery. But they include in the package an extra LR44 battery. LR meaning alkaline, and in the Mitotoyo it arrives with a SR44 type battery. And that is the silver oxide version. And I think it, I'm pretty sure that the LR44 battery would work in here. I haven't honestly tried it, but. I don't see any reason why it wouldn't. It probably won't last as long, obviously, but... Look, the bottom line is the Pittsburgh one is 10 bucks. Mitotoyo is 115 bucks, and it's to within a half a thousand. Yes, the action is a little bit gritty when I first uh, started working with the Pittsburgh, but, uh, and it's the, the Minotoyo is nice and butter smooth. I don't know how important that is to you, but it does, the Pittsburgh does, uh, clean up and feel better after you use it for a while. And I find myself honestly going for the Pittsburgh more frequently because I don't have to worry about it as much. I don't have to, you know, I don't have to make sure I put it back in its case and worry about it getting damaged. If I'm doing something super accurate, sure, I might go to the Minotoyo, but honestly, this Pittsburgh is my go-to at this point because I don't have to worry about it as much. I don't have to worry about using it or damaging it uh, while I'm using it. Ten bucks, I don't know how much LR44 batteries go for, but heck, go down to Harbor Freight, 
buy yourself uh, Pittsburgh and get two batteries not only the one that's in it but the second one that uh, that's also included I don't think you can go wrong so I recommend it <laughs>